Well, beer, I like beer. I drank it every day of the year. I drank it any time, but you're on my mind. I like beer. I keep a case there in the cooler. I got a tall boy in my boot. Greetings, this is Pick Ops 56. And once again, Santa's little helper behind the camera, my faithful Indian companion, John To. And this is beer review number 147. This is the last of our Christmas beer reviews for this year. This one is from Victory Brewing. It's their Merry Monkey Ale. I'll tell you a little about Victory Brewing. It says, as we celebrate our 25th year milestone in 2021, we pause to reflect on what's helped to get us to this point. A little luck, hard work, commitment to quality, and a focus on innovation. But most importantly, it's people that have had the most significant impact on our success. Our employees, our families, our communities, and you. Thank you. Over the last 25 years, we've grown to be a world-renowned craft brewery and the second largest craft brand family in our home state of Pennsylvania. Now, the Merry Monkey is a Belgian-style ale with cranberry, orange peel, cinnamon, and nutmeg. This Belgian-style holiday ale combines the beloved flavor profile of Golden Monkey with notes of cranberry, orange peel, cinnamon, and nutmeg to deliver a delightfully smooth finish, perfect for merry gatherings with family and friends. And to all a good night. The ABV is 10%. That's pretty, that's pretty stout. Uh, IBUs are 35. <clears throat> the malts are Pilsner, roasted malt, and bar, bar, roasted malty barley. Hops are Cascade and Tetanang. The uh, notes are cranberry, orange peel, cinnamon, nutmeg added. Availability is October through December, so if you want one, you better hurry on down to your local beer store and get one. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. Okay, okay. Not much head, which is what I expect with a, a beer with that high an ABV. Already dissipated. Let's see if I can get a hold of this thing. Okay, it's a nice orangey, uh, amber kind of color. Well, I smell the citrus on this one. All right, let's see what we got going on here. Yep, I definitely smell the citrusy orange smell. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure about the cranberry. Mm, that's pretty much all I smell, other yeah. than just a generic ale. Ale note. Aroma. Yep. Ooh. Mm. Yeah, what is all that? <laughs> mm. <laughs> I definitely taste the citrus. And uh, what I think is the nutmeg. Mm-hmm. Uh, not so much the hops. That's yeah. where I got I got the hops. Yeah, maybe well, maybe. Well you're you're more sensitive to hops. I, I taste the hops. Mm -hmm. I don't taste much in the way of malt. Or malt sweetness. Mm-hmm. 
There's a slight sweetness in it, but it doesn't taste like a malt sweetness. No. The hops are definitely there. Good, too. Mm. I think I got a little of the cranberry it's kind of hard to separate from, from the orange citrus note, mm -hmm. but I think it's there toward the end. Hmm. It's a good tasting beer. Interesting. Another one with multi flavors, and you can um, pick them out pretty well. Well, you know, that's strange because I'm not really tasting much in the way of maltiness. I'm tasting, little, but not much. I'm, I'm, ta I'm tasting a sweetness, but not a maltiness. Mm -hmm. I taste the citrus, a little cranberry note, mm -hmm. and the nutmeg. I don't really, I don't really taste the cinnamon, um, and I don't really taste anything that, to me, tastes like hops. This tastes like. More like the citrus from the orange peel you know, to me right. than to, from hops. Yeah. To me, I get the hops flavor uh, right off and then it goes into the others. The citrus and the little bit of sweetness. Well, I think what it is is, the, well, the citrus, the, the orange peel citrus with the little bit of cranberry and the, and, and the slight bitterness is almost hop like mm -hmm. but it doesn't to me taste like the exactly like the kind of citrusy taste bitterness that you get with hops mm -hmm. um, that's me uh, I have to say that uh, I don't hate it uh oh <laughs> Would you do it again? But I'm not. But I'm. But I'm not that thrilled with it. Yeah. Uh, I can give it a neutral thumb. Well, I'm gonna have to. Give I could it take it easy. Okay. Because so. I, I taste the hops. I taste most of the yeah. other flavors, and uh, it's an enjoyable beer. Well, well, I figured it would be for you. Yeah. It, you know, it, it's more a hoppy more down type of flavor. Right. But well. uh, it's not so much of a hoppy fla type of flavor. Did I felt the need to give it one of these? Yeah. So, there you go. There you go. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, that takes care of our Christmas beers for this year. If you want more Christmas beer reviews, you're just going to have to wait till next year. <laughs> so, this is Spec Ops 56, Santa's little helper behind the camera, John Toe, saying... See you next Christmas.